It's a fringe You only should have done this 60 times Compilation Okay, bye My name is Melvin And welcome to the late night time to pass With me Melvin This is a stupid ass cold opening I don't know what I was going with man. You're in the chaos that is doom eternal You feel the monsters Closing in on you and all seems lost. Suddenly, Doom Guy bursts through the wall. All the monsters turn to look at him. He loads his gun and says, It's Rar XD time. Bubble wrap, but there's terrified faces printed out of the bubble so you feel morally challenged popping them. Did you mean horny? I would love to study you. Uh, I go into Tumblr hiatus. Every few months. And every time I come back, I see this dumb shit immediately. Can you just shut up and enjoy the fact that all of our icons are yellow for a second? <sighs> oh my god, they are. People who wear glasses. How do you keep them clean? We don't. Our glasses aren't clean. We just had to learn to see through the dirt. We had to grow stronger. Survival of the less blind. All right, bear with me. Is Ovo... A variant of OO, or in fact, someone wearing the Plague Doctor mask. Oh, do you got the Plaguey Waggy? We've got to fix that before you die. Why? I regret everything. Here's a tip for you carry a fork with you. If someone tries to rob you, pull that fork out of your pocket and say, Thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm about to have, and charge at them with the fork. Street smarts! Apparently, the dude who started Netflix did so because he got a $40 late free from Blockbuster and was pissed. Pettiness is the greatest motivation in the world. In 1888, Almond Brownstronger, an undertaker, noticed he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in his town. He found out that the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator. When she intercepted people asking to be connected to Stronger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later... Stronger patented the Automatic Telephone Exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators. Holy shit, he destroyed a whole workforce! Younger me? Why am I so obsessed with gay people? Older me. <gasps> I am a gay people. You know, sometimes I think I'm arrogant, but then I remember that Julius Caesar was kidnapped by Sicilian pirates, and when they demanded a ransom of 620 kilograms of silver, he got mad. Because he thought he was worth more than that, and he made him raise it to 1,550 kilograms. He has also recited his own poetry to them. Dude, this is why you got stabbed by all your friends. You're fucking shit. Can they please make a dishwasher with a transparent door? I want to see what's going on in there. This is disrespectful. Let the dish elves have their privacy. Fuck going on in there, Sam? You making a weed? No, don't look at me! I don't have any socks on, I'm immodest! Reverse harem. But the MC is a cute old lady who loves spoiling the very young and very hot boys to death because she's never had grandchildren. The guys are all fighting over her because it's the most genuine love and validation they've ever received in their lives, and they also low-key want to be adopted by her. This isn't a harem. This is just competitive found family. And I'd fund the shit out of it. Hit me up if you want to make this show. Okay. If K is an abbreviation of OK... And some people call their grandfather Pop. Does that mean K-pop can be used as OK Boomer? Family isn't just genes and DNA. Family is a Discord server full of gay nerds that send each other memes. You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. Everyone at the funeral. <laughs> Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work and I am here for it. He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. Do you ever catch a whiff of a scent that smells unmistakably of something really random? Like the 23rd day of first grade and you're like, HOW DID I REMEMBER THAT?! SOMEONE ACTUALLY PUT THIS INTO WORDS! For your consideration. The world is broken, and I'm sad because there's nothing I can do to fix it. The world is broken, but there's an odd beauty in the dark parts. The world is broken, I'm angry, and I'm gonna fight to fix it! Maybe the world is broken, but I got a fucking trumpet! Today I learned Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enchant the weapon with the animal's spirits. 
This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon and the bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Fuck off, Egghead. It's because of bone magic. Behold, I'm an ox now. <laughs> I can't decide what's better. Elves being tricked out versions of humans or the races having similar appearances but completely different physiologies. An elf goes to a human hospital and the doctors are like, Holy fuck, you broke our blood typing machine! Sir, the, the results are in and technically... You are a fungus. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit of photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Doom guy is a bottom. Like I said, raw XD time. I can just hear all the people saying, Seymour, for the love of God, stop! It is time to clean your mind. Wish. Every room is an escape room. They're just vary in difficulty. Money can't buy love, but it can give you more opportunities to find it. Tiger King is the most Florida thing ever filmed, and 90% of it takes place in Oklahoma. Someone who does the same thing over and over again expecting different results is insane. Someone who very slightly tweaks their thing over and over again expecting different results is a scientist. With all these empty streets, Google Earth is the most realistic it has ever been. Ordering a rare steak is pretty common. I hate you, English language. Desktop computers went from being for nerds to being for everyone, now back to being for nerds again. Our definition of essential worker is very rarely reflected in what they're paid. We are taught in school that Wikipedia is unreliable, but the news is completely unreliable. <laughs> Shit. The guys who work at the factories where they make weights are probably more jacked than the guys who end up using them. The phone shows a screen showing no battery left, even though it needs a battery to sh show it. What? Squirrels quite literally grow on trees. Breakfast cannot be skipped. Only delayed. Canadians are so nice because all their rage and hatred is transferred to their geese. Eating ramen with chopsticks is normal, but eating spaghetti with chopsticks is weird. As a kid, your bed is in the corner of a room, so you have more room for playing. As an adult, your bed is in the center of the room for the exact same reason. <laughs> We're starting to realize how many meetings were actually mandatory to hold in person. Stan? An inhaler is sort of like a real-life stamina potion. I mean, I guess. Butts are the only thing you hit to show how much you like them. I'd say slap hit more implies punching, and punching a butt is not a sign of affection. That is abuse. Abuse on the tooks. And finally, 2019 wasn't so bad. And this has been Why the Fuck Is That True? By Tumblr. Girl and Vasker, I need some mm-mm. 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 Mm. Holy shit, Yellowstone is erupting. Hey, check this out. <laughs> We're about to die. All right, listen, shit is serious right now. You don't need another comic or meme telling you to wash your hands, ooh, ooh hydrate, or any of that bullshit. <sighs> Stay at home if you can, don't be a cunt. Look at some memes. Uh, I just invented water that makes your face melt. Slamming! I want you sticky! <laughs> Imagine not investing in elk coins in 2020. See you, fours? I'm going to the fucking moon! I've lost $5,000 today. <laughs> Tax season's coming. Wait, that's not a meme? People actually pay taxes? Yeah, we all have to. Okay, but... Why? It's time for everyone's favorite game show, waiting on the bus! Sir, here is your final question. What are you doing right now? I'm waiting on the bus. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! What did you wish for? I wish my mental illness was cured. <gasps> well, it seems we need to take you home unless you have some form of payment today. I'll offer you my virginity. Your virginity is not worth a house. Hmm. 
Crusader Knight let him down. But it is time to climb my mind with elongated breath waves. Thank you, Idea Box 9000, for the idea. By Tumblr. Schools prepare you more for a game show than the real world. Depression makes you tired during the day, but keeps you awake at night. I feel called out by this. Fuck you. Historians basically have degrees in hindsight. I mean, I guess. Commas are reading speed bumps. Your adult personality is your child personality filtered through society. Where is the fucking lie? You can tell how blunt a knife is by how far it fires the piece of carrot you are chopping. Thanks. The About the Author section of an autobiography is riddled with spoilers. Come on, stop that. If you hear birds chirping before the sun's out, you're either ultra productive or you've lost control of your life. The word indescribable can never be used accurately. Shit. We've done more for the environment by doing absolutely nothing than we have in years. All of a sudden, every restaurant is capable of not only delivery, but free delivery. Weird, it's like they need tactics in order to keep the restaurant afloat so they can go home and pay bills and feed their families. Huh. Makes you fucking wonder, doesn't it? You have probably insulted your friends more than someone you actually hate. <laughs> yep. Over the years, Star Trek made people accept that a black guy can be a captain, a woman can be a captain, but not that teenager that can be smarter than adults. Fucking shut up, Wesley. You're an asshole. Hate you. The day cheese becomes an acceptable gift is the day you have officially become an adult. When a cat falls asleep in your lap, it's not a display of trust as we believe it to be. It's the ultimate display of dominance. For they know we will not move until they allow it. The last day all humans were living on Earth together was November 2nd of 2000. Since then, there has always been someone living on board the International Space Station. Damn. Two halves of a pair make a pair. Fucking English language, I hate you. Go to your for class. As soon as possible, an ASAP register as different connotations of urgency. And yet, they mean the same thing. Saying calm down has never calmed a person and never will. So stop it. And finally, somebody probably referred to you as some random ones. And this has been I'm About to Throw Some Fucking Hands by Tumblr. All right. Zuko really thought the Avatar was 100 years old. And he was still fully prepared to kidnap him. Imagine if that actually gone down like Zuko thought it would. You're a fully realized Avatar, and you've been hiding out for over a century, and all of a sudden you get approached by this 13-year-old kid who's like, Yo, what's good? I got no death perception and I'm ready to fight God! Come at me, bitch! The word prostitute actually meant grandmother, and I didn't know that. Then my friend said he was going to his prostitute's house. The teacher asked which one, and he said his mother's mother's. And I was just standing there like, What the fuck is going on? My god, the not a dream tag posts are really messing with me, I swear! I thought I read that as not a dream! Congratulations! Your not reading the URL has evolved into accidentally reading a tag as not a dream! What if NASA invented thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battles? OH SHIT, THEY'RE ON TO US! Alright, Pucky! Two... Plus five... <laughs> you think I'd reveal my secrets to you? This is powerful. Tell us what 2 plus 5 equals, please! Wait! Hold up! This implies that Puckacho invented maths. Did Puckacho invented maths? I took a pic of me watching the Pickle Rick episode to piss people off, but somehow I managed to take a pic so that the frame on the TV was... a different frame on the reflection on the desk! First image! This is the most fucked up scenario that accurately depicts that movement of photons through space and time! Einstein would be so upset that you proved this theory at one moment. Cause in his day it took fucking months to set up an eclipse big to prove relativity and you did it by accident in your living room! Congrats, but also fuck you! Yo, remember that time they legit tried to have a gritty Looney Tunes reboot? This can't be real. Oh, it's real. And it's horrible. I want someone 
who has never had an art history class to tell me what this is called. Water slides if you're not a coward. It's okay that you're not who you thought you would be. Wow, this is one of the most softest things I've read on here. And it came from a soft wrongness. Who knew? When people talk about traveling to the past, they worry about radically changing the present by doing something small. But rarely anyone in the present really thinks that they can radically change the future by doing something small. Dude. My anxiety. Uh, me. All right, buddy, you need to be less panic and more at the disco right now, okay? There is no difference between Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sprites, Ginger's Ale, Roots Beard, Mountain Dew. All of them, they're all exactly the same. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> Comparing these other drinks to ginger ale is like sticking your hand in a blender. Because in both situations, <laughs> you'll know soon enough. Harry Potter and the year nobody got a haircut. Harry Potter and the goblet of flowing locks. Harry Potter and the half-priced extensions. Oh my god, I'm dead! So is Cedric. 361,873% done! Prom! No! There is no question mark. You are being summoned to Roach Prom and there is no choice. A haunted doll that bleeds sour cream if cut or punctured. Unlimited sour cream? I don't see a problem. You would be torturing a little doll for sour cream. Where do you think your precious tacoed bell has been getting it this whole time? Oh, shit. Remember that time George Washington said, hey, don't split into political parties because bad shit's gonna happen if you do? Then America did the thing. What the fuck, guys? You had one job. He looks so done. Today at work, I asked one of the kids what her favorite color was, and she said, pink and purple. They're pretty. I used to like yellow, but I got fed up with it. She stares into the distance. Suddenly, this five-year-old child in her flowery dress with matching ribbons and hair had become a battle-hearted veteran. She's seen some shit. Too many things are yellow now. If this were a movie, she'd knock back the last of her whiskey and get up from the bar. And I know in my heart of hearts, this kid is sick of minions. Why is door shut? Stick paw under to solve mystery! Paw under door did nothing. Next option, sit in front of the door and SCREAM! You know, Seymour, you once posted a Tumblr video in which you read a post that said, an actor is only famous for who they play, or something along those lines, and you muttered Travis right after. I didn't realize you were Travis until I did a double take. I've just been calling you send dick pic to OC man. I'm gone. Goodbye, world. Come it. Fucking kill me. Okay, I'm dead. The video's over. Bye. Okay, sorry, sorry. I got held up. I was at the bakery and they had some really yummy cake. And, well, you know how I get around cake. Well, thanks for waiting up for me. Well, I had a really good day today. I ate cake. Any day I eat cake is really good. But you, you, you know so much about me. Uh, so, how's your day been? Hmm, really, that's interesting. So, what brings you here today? I know you wanted to meet up. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I... I'll always be your friend. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be really cheesy, but I'm just really glad we met. And you've been such a help to me, and I want to be a help to you, too. No matter what you're dealing with, I just, I just, I want to be there for you. You're, you're like, you're like a piece of cake. Oh, that sounds silly. <laughs> but, I mean, you are, you're sweet, and you're the best, and you have icing, but not really. <laughs> but for real, you're one of the best things to ever happen to me. Your friendship means the world to me. And I'm just, once again, I'm just really glad we met. <laughs> wow, it's a beautiful day out. Hey, do you ever think we can maybe go just watch a sunset in the future? Just the two of us. We'll do it, we'll get like a pillow and a blanket, and we'll just watch it go down. It'd be so cool. Hmm, oh, 
my coffee's getting cold. <laughs> uh, I may have been carrying on too much. Maybe we should just go ahead and drink instead of just sitting here chatting away. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and drink up. 